Hello everyone, this is Sega Sully here, bringing the 22nd episode on Mass Effect. I just want to thank you, as always, for the amazing support you show this series. I can't thank you enough for it. As well as that, I hope you have a great start to your week. I know Monday is always hard going back to work, but hopefully the week goes well for you. As well as that, if you didn't check out Friday's episode, please go back and watch that now. All good things happen in that episode, I don't want to miss it. Without the way though, let's talk about what's happening in today's episode. In today's episode, we're going to continue exploring on Elos and hopefully find Seren and see what he's up to. So, with all that said, let's hop in. So before we started, I had no idea where to go, so I had to look up a little guide on where to go, but I think I've got the hand of this now. So we should be heading this way and then there should be a lift I think. So I think we go down this way, take this lift here, and then we have to get out of here back to the Mako. So what that did for us upstairs was unlock the door to get ma the Mako in. And if you wondered what happened and why we couldn't use the Mako this early on, like I said, watch the previous episode. But the squad is looking good at Garrison Rex, like I said in the previous couple of episodes, watching my back. Making sure I'm safe, but I have some sad news. I think this is going to be the last week on Mass Effect episodes because I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the end of the game. So, probably got one or two more episodes left, and then that's it, it's uh, game over. So, if I remember correctly, we should go down this way, and this should take us to the Mako or Mako. There it is. Right, let's get inside. Well, it will come in, Andy. You're right about that. I thought Sarah would have set some kind of trap or ambush. They must have been in too much of a There is another possibility, Rex. You're not wrong there. Oh, I'm kind of scared about this now. I don't know what's going to happen. Keep an eye out. Make sure nothing's coming for us. I don't think there's any enemies. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis bars. Maybe, yeah, the Prophians might have tried to preserve themselves and keep themselves alive. Where it looks like there's enemy shooters. Whoa! Okay. Wait, there's another one somewhere. Why do I keep getting tilted up? This is no fun. Excuse me, rocket trooper. Oh, troopers, sorry. Get out of my way. Jeez. Some people are not class these days. I'm just getting sure, minding my own business. Right. Oh, wait, what's that there? That looks kind of cool. It looks like there's a wave sort of effect going on. And I really do like that. Oh, so I don't know. It's a trap. Sir must have set an ambush. Hey, there we go. Got it. Wow, I could have just done that. I didn't have to do all that. I'm just gonna cut that. What's happening? It's a trap. Sir must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. I can't believe that I got stuck there for like two minutes. I could have just re just loaded the save. What do you think we're going to find down here? It has to be useful if it's specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. That is true, Rex. You're right. We can only defend, uh, depend on ourselves. What is this here? Is this another... S oh, Vir Figel? Virgil Hoa? You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. 
How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Wow, that is crazy. That's like the perfect trap as it says. If he turns on the relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. This is sad, man. Why did you surrender? That's what I'm wondering. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The Conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Kano, it's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. 
When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Right, guys, we gotta go. We can always Saren and get the conduit. Man, this, like I said in the last couple of the episodes, the lore in this game is crazy. And I feel bad about the Protheans and about Vigel, Vigel however you pronounce uh, the uh, his name, that I had to shut down people. So many school. races looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. I will let that happen, guys. Right, let's get in the Mako and get out of here. Oh, look, the shield's gone down, so we can just keep going forward. Yep, we got enemies coming up, I see them. Now, hopefully, it's not another rocket trooper we're about to find out. Oh, it's a sniper. Oh no, there, there's a rocket trooper. I got one of them. And that's you. Reverse, reverse. There we go. Whoa. That was kind of cool how we just saved and got stuck in uh, slow motion. So do we stop here or what's happening now? I guess we just continue going forward, right? Whoa, okay. Easy does it, Mecca. But are you flipping over again? Whoa, oh, okay. I thought that was gonna make me go really fast down there. But nope, we got saved. Right, we got more enemies coming up. We'll see how much damage they do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Rocket! They're hiding the water, that's very smart of you. The Gep Colossus always does so much damage. Come on, turkey boy! Let's see what you got. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Is that. Okay, get back, get back, get back. I can't even tell if I'm actually shooting him. Oh, there we go. Now I can. Right, you're the only thing left, Gift Colossus. But you're doing some big major damage. Wait, why is this shooting at me? 
I thought I took all of you rocket troopers out. Oh, let's heal, let's heal. Let's heal. We don't want to go down this easily. Come on, Colossus. If that's the best you got, then you not be me and my crew. I can't believe, like I said earlier, I can't believe we're almost at the end of this game. Because I'm watching, the, the tutorial watching to get that little bit at the beginning because I didn't know where to go to get back to the maker. Um, he was doing a stream series of this and I think he had about two hours left. And we already did half an hour in the last part so we probably have like two episodes left after this one. Depending on how much progress we get done in today's episode which we don't know what so far, we met Fergal, weren't the, you know, he kind of helped kill the Protheans in a way. Even though that was his attention, but sadly he did. Come on, Rocket Troopers. Come on, what are you doing? Okay, stay still. Thank you. Right, we're going this way now. Gotta make sure we don't flip on our side again. I think that's the first time that happened during this series. I can't remember happen happening any other time. I can't get a good shot from here. Boom, take it out. Right, where's the other one? Oh, there's two of you. Nice try, my friends, but you're not getting past me. What is that? Is that... I thought that was a big enemy then. I don't think it is. Wait, is that the... That's... There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. We made it to the relay. That is good news. Yo, I think that's suffering. And I think there's a bunch of Geth and Reaper ships. That's crazy. Oh no. This is a massacre. This is no. It can't end like this. Oh man. Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? Oh, there's seven, and he's Geth army. Oh, wait, we it's timed. Yo, I don't like time stop. Get all the way. Come on, come on, come on. See you on the other side, Geth! Woo, we did it! We made it just in time. Oh, I don't think we were gonna make it then. If we didn't make it then, I don't know what I would have done. Critical failure detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. <laughs> Yo, that was epic. But Irina, it's been too long, my friend. How have you been? You was actually one of the thumbnails. Let's go see you again.
Avina, what's going on? Where those husks are now. We fought these wall last time, it was not good. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Yeah, yeah, I know they're very hostile, which isn't good for us. But thank you so much for your help, Avina. Come on. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation. Well, let's get in this elevator and see what's going on. We're going to get to the Citadel Tower and see what damage Saren has caused. Hopefully it's not, you know, too bad. Because if it's not, we can maybe put a stop to him. Oh, there's Saren. Seren, what are you gonna do? Not always getting ready to activate the relay. Oh no, this is not good. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Understood. Right, everyone, start shooting. Well, this is this is crazy. Oh no, we've lost one of our ships. That's not good. Whoa, there's there's Sovereign. Damn, Sovereign doesn't care. Sovereign's just charging through the fleet. Yeah, he's just made in. Sovereign, no! What are you doing, man? This is this is not your turn. You've already destroyed us once. Oh no. Oh no, there's Suffering and Seven have done it. They're about to bring in the Reapers. We got to Suffering now one way or another. Because if we don't, it's the end for us. Here we go, we're almost at the top. We'll see how this goes down. Oh, this doesn't look good. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up, we're going outside. Right, let's do it. We got the ship it. Give us fix. Let's get it done. Whoa, something looks insane there. Right, because we're almost 30 minutes into this episode, I think I'm gonna call this here our next episode. We'll be hopefully taking seven down again, close to taking seven down. Hopefully saving the Citadel and seeing what awaits us. So if you have enjoyed this episode, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. But until I see you on the next one, peace out and goodbye.